Today I want to take a look at the Key Studio DIY electronic scale kit. It's based on Arduino, includes the source code, and it says easy to learn. This is a hefty package. There is there is some weight to this thing. Um, so electronic balance is commonly seen in our daily life with function of way. Uh, professional balance on market has more functions. Yeah, okay. So uh, it's got words on the back. <laughs> let's open it up and let's see what's on the inside. So pop it open and let's see. Okay, now this will, oh, this will make a lot of people happy. This has an actual printed manual. Uh, so how you're gonna put all these spacers in there, you obviously have to assemble it. This comes with a, a Key Studio Uno, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but yeah, an actual printed manual. So for a lot of people, that's a big bonus. I will say generally what I do with stuff like this is the menu, the manual is how I get to the very first bit of it. And then I try to switch to the online instructions. Most of them have online instructions and most of them update the online instructions. So that's a little top tip for you. If you buy something like this, the manual is great, but one thing is once they print the manual, it doesn't change. But if they find out there's a bug, the online stuff will usually be more up to date. So that's what I go with. So we have these, uh, this is, a, 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 I recognize it's a strain gauge, I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me open it so you guys can see it. It could just be a block of metal, but I think it's a strain gauge. Um, so I had some little ones of these that I've never actually used. Uh, yeah, there, there's, looks like there's multi-directional strain gauges on this thing. And I think the idea of it as, as this flexes right here, it is detecting how much flex is in that. And this is labeled as five kilograms. Um, I've always had a soft spot for Key Studio boards. Um, I like their kits and stuff like that. But the boards themselves, I just like, I mean, they could do the same blue that everybody does, but, and it may be kind of cheesy, but like this is a Key Studio Uno. And let me grab, I've got another Uno around here. Um, so this is your typical Uno board. And this one happens to have, I only soldered in one second set of headers so but what's neat about it is that for every single one of these inputs as opposed to just getting an input and then you get your power and your ground wherever you get it for every single one of these inputs they have power ground in the input right here power ground signal for every single one and like that's a nice touch that's you know that that means for a lot of things you don't actually need to use a breadboard you can just hook your sensors up three wires bing bang boom you're done and i think that is super nice there's a switch over here uh it says three volts or five volts so i guess this is switchable somehow i'll have to look that up uh, i've never actually noticed that before and then there's some extra pins over here i don't really know what that is either so there, this is this is definitely more than an Uno. This is this is your typical Uno. This is a Key Studio Uno, and I think there's something to be said for the Key Studio Uno. So you could have gotten the bulk uh, 1602 I squared C module, which is like a two line screen that can hold 16 characters, but they gave you a a retail packaged. This is this is nice. This is a retail packaged I squared C 16 by two. Uh, and a lot of these also, if, if you're not familiar, a lot of times you'll buy this screen and you'll have to hook up a bunch of these wires individually. And it'll be 37 different wires to make the thing work. Um, what they did is they put the I squared C module on the back so that you can just do this with four wires and you're good to go. So very cool. So let's take a look back in the box. We have some DuPont wires, set those off to the side. They're all female to female. You have a USB cable. This is, <laughs> I, I know I geek out over USB cables, but this one is, um, yeah, it's, it's the same style that comes with every other Arduino, but it's a little longer, which I think especially in a scale application is, is good. You want to be able to get that out of the way. Um, this is a dual 16 or 18650 battery holder. Uh, which I'm guessing is probably optional if it has the USB cable with it. But this is a, a dual 18650. Now, for those of you who don't know, um, thanks to things like Galaxy Notes exploding and burning entire villages down, uh, they don't do a lot of shipping of lithium batteries anymore on, on this kind of stuff. So you have to source your own 18650 batteries if you're going to go this route. Uh, I'm guessing you'd most likely just use the USB cable. 
Wow, so we have a very, these boxes look the same, but this one, if I had a scale, I could tell you this box is about a uh, hundred times heavier than this one. So let's open this one up first. And this has something I'm familiar with. This has a Key Studio push button module, which you may have recognized that from my uh, hooking all 37 sensors up at once. It has the little clicky button. This is a replaceable cap, so you can take this off and change the cap out with a different color. Um, but they would call that a tactile push button is there. And then, let's see what this is. This looks like an FTDI or something. I don't know. Um, does not look common, that's for sure. So this says Key Studio. And it does not say what it is on there. So I... I'm at a loss. I'm usually pretty decent at identifying these modules, but this one has got me. No idea what that is. I'm guessing this is hardware by the weight. So yeah, there's a, oh, okay. This is a big old chunky weight. Some brass standoffs, a less chunky. Oh, you know what these are? These are reference weights. This is a cool idea. This is a very cool idea. So what they do is they give you reference weights so that you can make sure that your scale is accurate and so this one says uh, what does it say on there a hundred grams and this one says 50 grams you can uh, maybe read the top a little bit but these are these are reference weights and you can see where they're basically machined out at the bottom you can see some of the tool work I feel like AVE here focus um, but you know you can see some of the tool work where they they make sure that this thing weighs exactly 100 grams or 50 grams and so you've got your brass standoffs you've got some shorter brass standoffs you've got a bunch of little screws some uh, acrylic washer square washer type things a uh, little rubber feet yeah so that's that's a very interesting bit of hardware and now you have the actual base So this is this is PCB material. I was expecting this to be acrylic, but this is uh, this is actually PCB material. And so we still don't know what this mystery sensor is over here. I'm guessing it just is for connecting all of those strain gauges together. Um, and yeah, you've got room for that. Looks like your 1602 uh, screen. This looks like this would go here. So all that goes there. This feels like a piece of acrylic. Yeah. You have to peel this protective layer off. And then this is uh, where the Arduino would go and another mystery sensor. So looks like I have my work cut out for me, but I've got a scale and let's see what I can do with it. Well, there it is. This is a pretty cool little build. Um, you know, the only thing I did that was a little differently than what they said to do in the instructions was I know I've got goofy big hands. So I basically wired it and then assembled it. And uh, that was way easier for me rather than trying to sneak these wires in underneath. It just seems like it makes sense. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the screen. I'm going to try shooting it. But it's kind of cool. It was basically what you do is when you go through and build this thing, you make some corrections for the fact that this thing is reading analog. And so because it's reading analog, the voltage that comes in can have an effect on it. And so basically they teach you how to make the correction factors. And I, I thought that was actually really fun. Like you you run an example sketch and then you divide out some numbers and then you run another example sketch and you get another set of numbers and and it's pretty dang sweet. And I didn't have that teared out. So I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's settled in around 49.2, 24-ish grams. And uh, yeah, so it, it's it's pretty cool. I think it's a... I think it's a worthwhile project and it's it's one I enjoyed doing. So, yeah, thanks for watching.